Hey dudes, it's GS. Before we start this episode, I just wanted to say up top, uh, we recently released an episode called Ed Plays Gungeon while Joe talks about Trump. And we, uh, I just wanted to thank everybody who either watched that or who left a comment there. The discussion was kept civil and I learned a lot. I learned a lot about um, issues and I learned some things about our, our viewers. And I just want to thank everybody for being civil in the in the discussion and I hope you guys learned something or uh, at least uh, got something out of that episode and I know it was a little bit different than what we usually do but I was really impressed with our viewers and with the commenters so I just wanted to say up top thanks for that yeah it was a nice constructive positive discussion so let's play some GBA games let's do it so well, maybe we should introduce this one, because this is actually a lie. We have played this one. We played it on our last episode. Yeah, this isn't games we never played, though. This is GBA games. Oh, that's so right. So some that's of the right. games we'll have played before. But this one, we played on our last episode, and we had two comments uh, from from viewers who were disappointed that we didn't play this game a little bit more. Two people said we two. should play Tomato Adventure. Yeah. Two. More so, than zero. Two more than zero. We listened to our commenters here on GS, so we're playing Tomato Adventure again. It's we're gonna be the play best. it for more than we're gonna play it for more than a minute and a half this time. Where did we stop? I think we stopped once we got control of our character Pretty because much, it was an RPG, yeah. right? Yeah, we thought it was an RPG, and it might still be an RPG. Who and knows? it is all in Japanese, so it's gonna be kind of uh, difficult to. Super. We can read some Japanese. Kyarak, but... kyaraka, huh? Super kyaraka. Am I misreading that? No. No. <laughs> okay. Sometimes it's easy to see what things translate to. Not always. Kyara. Alright. Huh? Is this his house? Woodstock! That's the name of the character from Snoopy. This oh, guy yeah, looks yeah, like yeah. Woodstock. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. Snoopy. I don't know what that means. Alright. Oh. Okay, cool. A button does something. Let's get out of here. Alright. All right, we're just going to skip this text because, whoa, whoa, we're trying to make this television work. How can this be, how uh -oh. can this be you right? just answered a question. Yeah, I know. You I said yes. I shouldn't have done that. For the question. We're supposed to be doing this? I can't imagine this is the, uh-oh. That was the right thing to do? You're black and white. What if I got a game over? <laughs> Gay, yeah. You're telling me. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, this is this is as far as we got. Hmm. Okay, thanks. Thanks, lady. Go back to looking at your red disc. Hey, look at this. This is a tomato. Can't do anything with it. This is a green tomato. It's uh oh, it's it's uh Mido from the Kalkiri Forest, the guy that's yeah. guarding the stairs. He won't let us go right. until we do something in this town. All right, let's see if we can figure out what we got to do in this yeah. dumb town here. Well, normally we'd have to find a shield and a sword. Uh, I have a tire and a plant. How's that working? Is that is that a good uh, substitute? Yeah. All right. What's up, little girl? Six people. Hmm. This game's up to six players, apparently. Uh, no, Mita. I don't think that's no. what you're saying. Also, did you notice in the beginning, in the cutscene, it said we're in the ketchup kingdom? I think you can go up that, that ladder in that building. Oh. I think that's what we got. Oh, wow, you can go in through the roof. Cool. This isn't very good oh, for you, her. Burglars could get in. It's saying you hear music coming from inside the room. That's it. That's all it's saying. Hmm. Huh. And I can't do anything. Uh, okay. All right. Well... Just kidding. Can we go down this ladder here? Yeah, this is where we, where we uh, started. Oh, yeah, this is where we started. You're right. Uh, let's see. Oh, you can run. Oh, that's good. That's good. Tomatoes. To yes, tomatoes. Oh, this is our house. Mm -hmm. So we're on a mission to... Uh, a broken-ass bus. Right. Oh, this is the name of our town? Sedimo? Uh, no. Wrong. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. were, we, were we right to not play this in the first place? Uh, I don't yeah, know. I, let's give it a chance. Let's I, let's let's. Here, here's the thing. I refuse to believe that not one but two people suggested we play this unless it was awesome because it's in Japanese. Well, they didn't. They had. I don't think they'd ever played it before. They just said it looked interesting. Oh, it does look interesting. Yeah, they're not wrong. I like the graphics. Yeah, I like the look of it. Quite nice. This might have been one of those. Uh, this is one of those GBA games that were from the heyday of the GBA era when the GBA was 
so popular and so great. This is one of those great overlooked classics. This guy's anti-tomato. Look at he, it, look at that poster he on sure his wall. Is. No tomato. His neighbors are pro tomato. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Did you see it? He said. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, all right. We have to go to Selimo's house or Serimo's house. Uh, it's here. Cool. What's up, dude? Did he just say good, good something? Good, uh, whatever. <laughs> yes, yes, fix our TV and we'll be on our way, sir. By the way, your house is a mess. Oh, he just gave us an item. Oh, good. It looks like. Maybe it was a new TV. Oh, I just saw the word monsters, so I don't know. It's an RPG. Oh, look at those graphics. So this is our battle screen. Oh, look how thick the outlines on all the characters are. I think at some, at some points nice. they're two pixels thick. Yeah, they are. Wow. Nice. Uh, what? All right, let's see. We can uh, gimmick, <laughs> item, or run away. I guess we'll have to gimmick. Okay. Uh, okay. What is it? Oh, it's a yo-yo. Uh, okay. Yeah. Hagar Hagaruma yo-yo? Oh, it's, so it's uh, Star Tropics. Good. Yeah, the main weapon in Star Tropics for NES is a yo-yo. Uh, what? Gimmick. Yes, please, gimmick. Gimmick me, sir. G I would like to purchase one gimmick. Star Tropics 2 is one of my favorite NES games. Oh, man, record. I know. Oh, it's this thing. Okay, all right, all right. Do we want to get it in the red, then, uh, I guess? Uh, yeah, it seems like it. It does seem like it. But, uh, you know, if, if I'd taken some time to actually read this or translate it, that would have been nice, but I didn't. Where did the tomatoes come in, I wonder? Boom! Yeah, circle. Oh. Wow. We just demolecularized and then remolecularized from that attack Pretty there. sweet. Pretty sweet. Hmm. All right. I like, I feel like this is gonna be a good game. And this is also by the same developers that made Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, which was also a really fun game. It didn't quite have, Oh no, what did I just, what did I just agree to? Oh, start button. I was giving us a tutorial on the start menu. Great, great, great. Yeah, Superstar Saga, Super Superstar Saga was great. It was okay. It did have the longevity of, you know, Mario RPG. I think that's kind of understandable. This is really weird. The character is walking around the menu. This is what uh, Toad does in Mario RPG. You know, Tote does that. Yeah, kind of. He, he doesn't, it doesn't look like he's walking around the UI. I think he kind of jumps around, doesn't he? If I remember right. Uh, maybe. Yeah, you might be right. You might be right. I don't think I've ever seen a game that works exactly like this in the, in the menu screen where the character is walking around it. But if you do know a game where that happens, post it in the comments below. Who's that? Where'd she go? Looked like Princess Bubblegum from far away. No, maybe not. Hmm. Hmm. Very Japanese. Yeah. yeah. This is gonna be a hard one for us to yeah. really get too far into. <laughs> Whose idea was it to play a Japanese RPG? Okay. Oh, cool. We won already. We, we should, saved the princess. Yeah, we, we, just... <laughs> we saved the princess. Oh, she joined our oh, good. party, it looks like. We he... should. Oh, she didn't, though. Psych. Just kidding. Oh. She walked into us, though, and disappeared. Yeah. That's usually indicating that the character has joined your party. So we have uh, gimmicks, items, what's key guy? Clothing? Yeah, I think it's, um, is that right? I think so. Yeah, you'll have good, yeah, yeah, it's uh, clothes, like equipment, I guess. This oh, yeah. is... Mm. You're better at Japanese than I am. I learned a couple, for, I actually started playing Final Fantasy X in Japanese, which is a great one to play if you want to learn it, because everything's spoken. And if you can do it on your computer, then you can use uh, save states. Return, save. Was that recent that you were playing? No, it, it was like a couple, like two years ago, I think. Oh, okay. Um, because now it's out. It's actually officially out on PC. Before, uh, oh, did I say PC? I meant I was playing it on the PS2. Yeah. Did I? Did I say PC? I misspoke. Yeah, we never would. Okay. What's an emulator? <laughs> Will that ever get old? I mean, well, I don't know. I'm not tired of it, but maybe no. our viewers are tired of it. Well, we only said it a couple times, I guess. Although in the first GBA episode. We had some real strange issues with our uh, our capture card, you know, where it, it really resembled a Windows operating system. It's very strange. 
I don't quite understand. Oh, Jesus, we're getting attacked. Oh, Jesus! Oh, God, I'm sorry. Just, but we're still only one guy. Just, Why doesn't that girl help us? Just put your hands down. Jesus. Let's gimmick here. Yeah, we might as well gimmick. Oh, That's yeah. That's good, right? I think. I think the further to the right, the 16, better. It was red. Yeah. That's got to be a crit. A oh, no. Crit. It's, maybe all the numbers are just red. And now it's nine. It, uh, is, that, is that like PP? Like, you, you can only use it ten no, times? I don't know. Also, I noticed that there's that that uh, those two red bars, those two red Ds, just above the actual yeah, uh, power. I, see I don't know what that means. We have no idea what we're no. doing. No. Uh, okay. So we have uh, 12 experience points and Topa. Is that? I guess that's currency. Are we gonna keep playing this for a couple more minutes? Sure. Probably. Let's get at least get out of this gate. Yeah, let's do it. So uh, I recently got some mail oh, from yeah. uh, President Barack Obama. So we're gonna open this right now on the for air. Real. I don't. I don't know what the on the air. On the air. On yeah. this on this episode. So nope. let's let's see what uh, what and Obama has to say to me. Well, here. Let's just be clear that you're not even joking. This letter was addressed to you from President yeah, it Obama. Says Barack Obama. Literally. Dear Joseph, your family is in danger. I've come from the future to warn you. That's not what it says. That on election day, your family will be killed unless you <laughs> vote for me, Obama. What? At the uh, at the church hall around the corner from your house. That's where your voting location is. <laughs> All right. You better go do it, or else. Or else. So that was from Barack Obama. I'm just gonna ignore that. Sure. Though, and, uh, was it really from him? I wonder. I doubt it. it doesn't sound like something he would say. But the say. president did threaten me in a mess in a mail. He sure, sure did. I don't take it seriously, but I I am very angry about it. <laughs> uh. So hmm. thanks, Obama. Maybe that's a time limit. Let's see what happens if it runs out. Oh, that's all it is. It's just a time limit. All right. This is a really nice game. I like the uh, the size of these sprites. They're gigantic. Nice and colorful. There we go. I'm amazed. You, you actually got a letter directly from President Obama. Yeah. It's quite impressive, man. I didn't know you were that in, in uh, you were that important, you know? You're a, you're a very public figure on the internet. You're famous. Yeah, I think he sent it to all the YouTube stars. Yeah, maybe. He probably wrote each one in, in, individually as well. All right, so this seems to be like sort of a mix of Earthbound, where enemies are on screen. Or, you know, or Mario RPG or any RPG where that's, that's the case. But you can choose to engage enemies or you can skip them. Oh, cool. Oh, what did I just agree to? Is this Undertale before Undertale? I don't think so. No. Doesn't... It is goofy, oh. though. It, it does yeah. seem to be a little bit of a... A twist on the RPG genre. Oh, okay. It's... it's uh, What are those? Eggs? Crackers? It looks like a, the back of a cat. It looks like a sitting it cat. It does. That one looks like an egg. Yeah, that one's definitely it's an like egg. a broken egg. Uh, What's up, dude? I'm holding this sign. It says... So that's that's gonna be an enemy there. Yeah. I would assume. Let's get out of here. They don't seem to chase you. No, that's nice. Let's, let's get out of here. It's like Chrono Trigger, except that we're <laughs> the aggressors here. Oh, no. Hmm. Maybe we should just uh, call this one. I don't know if we're gonna get much more out of this. Much no, I don't, I don't think we are. No. Let's move on. But I hope you guys got kind of an idea of how this game works. Looks like... Uh, Kind of a goofy RPG, and if you can read Japanese, you'll probably be able to have fun with this one. But if you can't, I would say skip it. So a lot of you might not know this, but Attack of the Clones is Joe's favorite film of all time. That's not true. It's and true. Also, and also, okay, I, I also want to, now that we're throwing barbs here, I want to say barbs. that it was Ed's choice to play this it, one. It was, because this I'm was pretty Ed's sure this pick, is... So blame him for whatever happens from here on. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a terrible experience, but we just... It's a train wreck that we have to see. What is my favorite movie? What's your favorite movie? Oh, I don't know. I go back and forth. I can give you, like, my favorite movie for the last two years or something. Yeah. Uh, let's see. In the last six months, I really enjoyed Zootopia. Before that, uh, Frozen was good. God, I can't remember the last time I saw a movie that wasn't animated. That's not true at all. Maybe I'm just a 14-year-old girl. Maybe that's why I like those films. We know what's going on here. Let's, let's try oh. this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. wow. Okay. Uh, explosion. Boom. Ha! <laughs> uh, I love those digitized... These are just straight-up digitized screenshots. Yeah, from the movie. It's... Oh, Whoa! boy. Look oh, at, boy. Look at those frames, though. I just... I have to say, that's more frames than I was expecting. I have to say that. Uh, so we can block. Uh, so we can jump. There's not many and... frames in the jump. No. But the standing animation has quite a lot of frames. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed by that, but... 
Okay, so B's jump? That seems a little and backwards. By quite a lot, I mean it's probably about five. <laughs> <laughs> More than I was expecting, which would be like two. Yeah. Hey. Oh, God. Is this a brawler? Can, um, we, mo can we move on the... On the X or on the Y axis no, at all here? It's no, a, it's a side scrolling platformer. Okay. That looks like a brawler. Oh god, get out of here! It doesn't control very well, but man, these digitized graphics are state of the art. These movie games are always terrible. Yeah, I know. I wish that Goldeneye had started a trend of that not being the case, but you know, I don't think that's ever going to change. This is the era of probably the worst movie games. Like after Goldeneye, everything was shit. However, however, a lot of the Lord of the Rings games, for even for GBA. Uh, I think they were on PS2 and Xbox. A lot of those were excellent. They were like, they weren't beat em ups, but they were, I think they were isometric hack and slashes. I played one that was a 3D, I think it might have been the Two Towers. Oh. Oh. Should have jumped. For PS2, and that was pretty decent. Yeah, I think that was the one that was the most popular. Yeah, look at that. Look at those graphics. His, uh, his movement speed does not match up at all with his animation. For how fast it looks like he's walking. What happened to the. What happened to the guys that were on the other side there? Oh, just gone. Oh god, it's a Jedi! They just ran away. I don't know what that bar I mean, this is. This is pretty basic. This is, yeah. It doesn't give like a jump kick here? Yeah. Oh, right. It controls so poorly though. Oh my god. Yeah, this doesn't look very good. This is not very well, fun. We can, we can go to the next game if you want. Can we? Uh, let's just get to the boss. There's gotta be a boss okay. in this episode, right? Well, who was the boss in, uh, in Attack of the Clones? Was it... It was the, the sand. The coarse and grainy sand. Because it, it got everywhere and... I was gonna say it was General <laughs> Grievous. He's he, my favorite Star Wars character. That's not a joke. Oh, he's alright. He's alright. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, my favorite film of this year was. Star Wars, Episode 7. But that was actually last year, wasn't it? Wasn't it December of last year? Yeah, that was. That was a while maybe, ago. Maybe, yeah, it might have been. So, okay, that's another lie. That, that can't possibly be the case. It was alright. It was fun. It was fun to watch. I don't know. I don't, I don't really get that into oh, the God. Star Wars universe. Plus one. I've seen all the movies. Yeah, I've seen all this, all the main Star Wars movies, including, including this seven one. of them now. Yeah, I saw yeah. Attack of the Clones. Actually, I really liked Attack of the Clones, not because of the story, but because of the scene at the end with all the Jedi's and the robots. Yeah, playing. yeah, that was kind of cool. And the third one was pretty awesome too. Just the action scenes in the in Episode One and Three, or not One and Three, Two and Three, were pretty awesome. Because I don't, I don't really care that much about the story of Star Wars, even the old ones. Well, I think the, the the main appeal of the Star Wars, well, the original prequels, I mean, this is just a guess because I wasn't alive then, but I think a lot of the appeal comes from the characters, you know? I mean, of course the story is important, but those are largely character-driven stories, just like The Force Awakens was, you know? This is really fucking repetitive. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's not, it's not great. Even these enemies have a lot of frames. Color me impressed by that one thing and disappointed by everything else. Just color me that, you know? Just color me that. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, I... I don't know if we're ever going to reach a boss. Maybe we'll just move on. Yeah, fuck this game. Well, it's in English, right? But it'll still be, yeah, yeah, it'll still be a lot of text. I don't remember if there was a oh. lot of text in this. I did own this for GBA. I never beat it. It is Konami. It has to be Metroidvania because yeah, it's on the it GBA. Is, it's a Metroidvania. I remember it being good, but I think I got lost in it and then I never finished it. Oh, uh, let's just try normal. A lot, of the, a lot of these old Metroidvania games are pretty easy to get lost in. Yep, yeah, this is definitely what I remember it looking like. But hey, you can skip cutscenes. That's nice. I was a big fan of the Shaman King comic too yes. when it first came out in the the States. Yeah, I never read it. One of my favorites. Oh nice. Yeah, this but I uh... never I never finished reading that series. It's a pretty long series. Uh oh. What did I just do? I think you just did your super. I think I did. Oh, I, oh, I it's spent like all my a mana. buff. Does it does it replenish slowly over time? Oops. Oh, this it is looks interesting. Like it, yeah. So oh there we go, yeah. So this is um lifting a lot of is that a sign behavior bat? Oh Jesus, kill me now. Just kill me now. I'm just going to assume they're lifting a lot of things from their Castlevania games on the GBA. Yeah. In fact, bottom right corner shows the enemy's name, I'm assuming. Yeah. Or maybe that's not the enemy's name. It says yeah, this this was pretty solid. I wouldn't say this was as good as something like Ari of Sorrow, but <laughs> it's a step above Circle of the Moon and Harmony of Dissonance for sure. And it's a licensed game. Yeah, and it's a licensed game. So Konami took this license, and I think they did a pretty decent job with it from, from what I remember and from Whoa. what I played. I played at least a few hours into it from what I remember. You know, when companies like Capcom and Konami used to take licensed games, that was the golden era of licensed yeah. games. It's gone Capcom now, I think. did an awesome job with all the old the NES games. Yeah. Any Capcom licensed... And Super Nintendo, too. Yeah. Almost any Capcom game from the old days is yeah. going to be pretty good. There's a few stinkers. Stinkers. That's a word I don't think I've ever said. There's a few oh. a few weaker titles in the 
in Capcom's uh, library for the old 8-bit and 16-bit suit. 16-bit consoles. I mean, I owned a, a few on Super Nintendo, and there were a couple on Gen maybe not Genesis. I can't remember if they made anything for Genesis. Like the Illusion of uh, the Mickey games, you know, Illusion of Castle of Illusion. And Are we talking about Capcom? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they made. Right, they made those. I'm not just making that up. Right, they made um I so, one yeah. that, I, that I used to play a lot, which was World of Illusion for SNES, Thanks where well. you can change your costume between like a uh, prince who shoots magic. Bolts yeah, and a yeah, firefighter. Yeah, and it was a firefighter. Yeah, in that. that was a solid game. I think that was Capcom. We should play that. That was a really solid game. And there was the Genesis one, which was Castle Evolution, where you could play. It was two player simultaneous with Donald. I played that a lot too. Yeah, with my next door fun. neighbors. That was really fun. Yeah, that was that was one of the one of the more fun co op games for the Genesis. Man, they just they really nailed it. Licensed games back then had some integrity. Not anymore. At least when Capcom did it. Yeah. And sometimes Konami, because this is this is a pretty solid game too. What about um Super Star Wars for the Super Nintendo? Do you know who made those? Because I don't I don't actually know offhand. Uh, no, not off the top of my head. But I mean those have that, those have garnered even a decent following now. Yeah, know? a lot of people like those. I wasn't a huge fan of those to be honest. They are just insanely difficult. So if that's your thing. Uh oh. Sweet. Cool. What did he drop? Oh yeah, I think there's items in like there might even be a crafting system in this. I'm not sure. Oh, Jesus. You want to get that? Magnus scope. Oh, is this like a soul? Like yeah. an enemy's soul, so I just got his power? Yeah, let's check this out. Let's check this system out here. Oh, you have a deck. Oh. Yeah, I don't remember how any of this works. Alright. Press uh, the R triggers. Let's see. There you go. Spirit. Oh, yeah, spirit. Okay. Rip the enemy to pieces in an instant. Or look around. Yeah, that's our main character, Yo. His uh, his spirit. Oh, that's his cool. His spirit guy is Amidamaru, who's the. Nice. Well, you saw him. Whenever you do that special attack, you yeah. see like that, that cool effect. Well, that doesn't seem this useful, actually. Go across the, cost mana. The middle of the screen. Nice. Let's let's put that other one back on. Yeah. Items, equipment, X items. Are these like uh, key items? I guess. I don't know. Oh, you get different weapons. Deck one, deck two. Yeah, I think you can save different uh, presets. That's cool. Which you can do. I'm pretty sure you can do that in Ari of Sorrow as well. Did this? I what can't, is that? I'm not sure if this came out before. No. <laughs> before Aria of Sorrow or after? I wonder. Oh, some gold. Because it's not quite as good as Aria of Sorrow. I mean, Aria of Sorrow is is one of the top Metroidvania games of all time, in my opinion. Look at these barrels. And Defying the best one for, for GBA for sure. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if this was like a B team project or something. You know, like, they had the heavy hitters on the A-Team go for the development of the Castlevania games, and this was... Jesus. Yeah. That, Jesus. Seems, that doesn't seem to hurt you, though. You got some kind of a I mushroom. I'm glowing. You got a mushroom, and now you're glowing, and there's a little red sword in the top left next to your UI there. This is back in the... That in might the, be a buff. Yeah, maybe. There's no double jump. I think you might need to get a double jump before mm -hmm. you can get up there. Back in the days where manuals were still printed for games. Ah! Oh, that does hurt you. Oh, cool. You can switch decks with the select button. That's pretty cool. It, it does seem solid, actually. I'm enjoying it I so far. I remember having a lot of fun with this game. Doby Gate. But yeah, I think I just got stuck. I think I just got stuck somewhere and couldn't figure out where to go. Hmm. Alright, let's get that. Another game companies. Namco. Namco. No, they didn't really make any license. They don't game. make much anymore, do they? I mean, I guess they still own the rights to Pac-Man, of course, right? Yeah, Pac-Man. You make... know Pac-Man used to be named Puck-Man? I did know that, yeah. Do you know why they didn't call him Puck-Man? I do know. This is this is a piece of gaming trivia that's passed around frequently. Have... Oh, it is? Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe I'm just... Uh, maybe I've just it seen it a lot. because the Japanese developers realized that the word Puck in U.S. could be... Uh, could be vandalized right. on American arcade machines. They could cover up the P or scrape off part of the P so it looked like fuck man. <laughs> and they didn't want that happening. They had the foresight, so they called him Pac-Man, which kind of makes sense. He's packing in the pellets. I mean, sort of. If you were a Japanese game dev, would that bother you so much? Would, would the localization of this game bother you so much that you would actually change its name? Of Pac-Man? Yeah. Well, I guess it doesn't matter in Japanese, because either way, it's Pokemon, right? I think it's just yeah, for localization. They yeah, they don't care. They don't. So this was this was an English local, localization choice. Yeah. Whoever decided that it was time to bring it into English. Yeah, I guess that's a good idea, then. I consider Pac-Man to be the first good Oops. video game. Really? Yes. 
there's got to be something else. I don't know. I mean, Pong is okay, I guess. If like if you've never seen a video game before, <laughs> it might be impressive to you. So it was impressive to people in the. What about? I guess the gameplay is solid, but it's boring as hell. When was Donkey Kong out? Was that after Pac-Man? Uh, yeah. Plus, yeah, that's definitely well after Pac-Man. Plus, we don't. Well, okay, it's okay. We Donkey never Kong. speak the name Donkey Kong on this channel. No, we don't. Why not? Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong. Oh, hey, oh God, here he is! If you say it enough times, you summon him. You summon the demonic version of him. He's red. Let's fight a boss. Dad! What are you doing here? Oh my God, that's Dad? What's wrong with his face? You're not strong enough to fight Zeke, yo! Hmm. No, I, I don't agree to that. Alright, so we have to fight our dad. I don't want to do this. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> he ran away! <laughs> Wait, that was it? I hit him three times and he ran away. I guess he doesn't want to lose to his I, son. I guess not. Well, he must be pretty embarrassed. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Let's hit him with a white shower of these white things. A shower of white things. That'll do some damage, right? Historically, should we, should we talk about beefs? I have several new beefs. New beefs, huh? Yeah, tell us. What do you got? Lamar Wilson? You ever heard of Lamar Wilson? I've never heard of Lamar He's Wilson. He's one of these goofball channels on YouTube. Okay. Where they he reviews products and acts like a goofball. Okay. Oops. Did not mean to do that. He he did an episode about... Have you seen that? That mini NES? Yeah, has yeah. has 30 games on it's it? It's the NES Classic, I think? Yeah, they're giving, they're giving this away to a bunch of YouTube channels. Right, right. And his video on it was terrible. Why? He's so bad at video games, and he knows nothing about video games. What, really? Yeah, it made me, uh... Is he a gaming channel? What does he do? No, he's not a gaming channel. Hmm. He's but just... they gave him the thing, I guess, to promote it. They're doing some kind of a I YouTube guess. promotion, and they're giving it to everybody. Yeah, they're and pretty... He, and he pretends like he knows things about <laughs> old video games. <laughs> but he doesn't, and no. he stinks at them. Oh, that's a shame. They should have given that to us. That, uh, that NES Classic. Yeah, I'm sure they would have gotten a lot of press from us because oh yeah, certainly we're such a big channel. S sure, we would have reached tens of thousands of. But that machine isn't out yet. It, it just... is though, isn't it? No, it's. Not. I don't think it's I out. I thought it just came unless out. It, unless it came out like a few days ago, but. Hmm. Uh oh. The end. Oh fuck. Wait, this is a hard fight. That's a really hard fight. We should put it on easy. There's too many dads. Too many dads in the room. Spoils the... What's it called? Spoils the suit? Pretty cool graphics. Oh, Alright, let's, let's try another game. Yes. This was kind of a no-brainer after we talked about it, what, 20 minutes ago? Yeah, Lord of the Rings. New Line Cinema. EA. Hmm. So we have a beef with that guy. I, I wonder. I wonder why we didn't get one. I mean, we didn't ask for one. I would just, you know... Why didn't we just get one without even asking? So, yeah, the reasons why we have beefs with him is because he... He just acts. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Whoa! Whoa! I'm being blown away. Wow, FM. It's really FMV quality. This is better than Sega CD quality, and this is on the GBA. Are you kidding me? FMV on the GBA. Look at this. This hmm. is straight up Diablo. Yeah, this isn't too great so far. The graphics are a little lacking, but the graphics on that FMV yeah, were pretty amazing. This is all happening on a screen that's what 300 by something smaller than 300. I don't so know. So our next beef is with GameSack. Oh, I love those guys! Because, of, because both of the main members of GameSack have a lisp. Yeah, they do! Yeah, they that's, do. That's it, that's our beef. Whoa, I put the ring on! Oh, take it off, take it off, take it off! I don't know how to take it off. Take it off, take it off, take it off! It looks like you're obsessed with Mordor now. Oh, I can't take it Is off. Is that the Eye of Sauron yeah. in the top right? Well, I, you put on the ring for no reason. Oh, it probably I'm... gives you a lot of buffs. Huh. That was weird. Oh yeah, this is Diablo. Look at the... Oh no, you have it on again! Oh, it costs... Does it cost mana or something? I don't know how I to get it, it off. it costs your life. <laughs> no, it costs mana, yeah. No. But I, maybe it's just time. A you're pile of four gems. With Give this me. Eye of sour on. Well, the A button puts on the ring, you know. That's kind of like. <laughs> could you could you make it a little safer? <laughs> like, why would you put that on such a button where it's so easy to proc? I think I've ever played a game where the A button puts on a ring. <laughs> <laughs> the one ring. This looks really nice though, and you know, like animation wise, the animation looks decent. Oh god, but yeah, it is Diablo. Awesome. Let's pile pick up some of gems. Let's pick them up. Let's pick them up. Sorry. So okay, in our in our last beef. Yes. Of the night is Aqualung Game Reviews. This is a channel Aqualung. Ed probably has never heard of. 
game reviews. They sound vaguely familiar. Like I may. He doesn't I may have, have a lot of subs. I subbed to him a long time ago. Oh, long. Is he famous for anything? Like does he have a viral video or no, something? No, he doesn't. He's just he, a dude. He's just a guy who does reviews of games. Okay. And he's not fake. And everything's scripted, but the way he reads it. He doesn't sound fake. He sounds like he's being himself. There's not really any screaming. All right. And he's not fake enthusiastic about anything. His delivery is very dry and funny. Okay. And actually, this isn't a beef. This is this a channel. Doesn't... This is a channel recommendation. <laughs> For real? Yeah. I For guess, real? I guess it is. I guess it you was are. listed under our beefs of the night. But all right. Yeah. Aqualung game review. You're just gonna recommend a different channel. People, stop watching this and go to that guy's channel. Yeah, he's all right. How could you do that? Yeah. Oh, let's see, is it better? Plus three melee? I don't armor? know, I've watched a bunch of his videos. I haven't watched nearly all of them, but once in a while I'll put them on. Aqualong, huh? Yeah, I thought it was named oh. after the ability in uh, Final Fantasy oh, games. it's not? It's not. It turns out that there's a Jethro Tull album or song or something called Aqualung. Oh. And he plays a Jethro Tull song on his on his videos, and he somehow doesn't get copyright claimed, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> we, on the other hand... Some mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, let's just pick some mushrooms up out of a box and eat them. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Where's our inventory? Objectives? Make your way through the Karadras Pass. Uh, artifacts. Hmm. I guess we don't have an inventory screen here. Nope. No. We can choose. Let's see. We can put on the ring or eat an apple. <laughs> <laughs> Tough choice, man. I'm gonna, I would go with the ring. Yeah. I, I, it has to have some... Oh! <laughs> oh Holy my shit, god. Is that Gandalf? Oh my god, he no, wrecked that's us. No, the, that's the Spectre. He... He killed us. Isn't that what he's called? The Spectre? The Wraith. Ring Wraith. The Ring Wraith. Yeah, yeah. You oh know more about god. this universe than I do. Stop putting on the damn I, ring! I can't stop. I can't stop. <laughs> oh man, you're wasting it. It feels so good. I don't know, am I wasting it? I don't even know that it's... I think it just makes the ring wraith come at you. Yeah, but there's gotta be some point. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> there's gotta be some benefit to that, otherwise why would you even have it? Oh, man. Battles. Uh, oh, I had a boss battle. Oh, did you? Yeah, I recently had a boss battle in, at my house. Maybe not a boss battle, but a battle. Okay. Nonetheless, at let's, my house. Let's hear it. With one of these thousand-leggers. We, li we live in the woods. Yeah. And the thousand-leggers get in. Mm. You never get... You... you, you you never get used to them. No. These creatures are on my list of banned creatures that <laughs> should be banned from the earth. On the list, uh, just for some examples, Komodo dragons, <laughs> those should not exist. Right. Uh, what else shouldn't exist? Maybe scorpions, those probably shouldn't exist. How about arachnids? Oh, scorpions are arachnids. How about the entire arachnid uh, group? Nah, I no? mean most spiders can stay. Alright. No. No, they but can't. anyway, thousand leggers, they're definitely on my list of things that shouldn't be. They're not even spiders. No, they have a lot of legs. I don't even know what category those things fall Aren't into. Aren't they like millipedes? Hellspawn, probably. <laughs> Hellspawn. Aren't they like centipedes, just bigger and hairier? Yeah. Those aren't. I they're don't. mostly harmless, but I just yeah. think that they shouldn't. They shouldn't exist. They are very. So gross. anyway, yeah, there was one of them in my house, and usually I, I, uh, How big if they're on it? the wall, I slap oh. them with a book with oh. a paper towel attached because I don't want to ruin the book, you know. Yeah. But I throw a, you know, I have strats. I have a lot strats. of strats. I actually have a lot of strats for dealing with thousand leggers because I have to deal with them. Boss strats. Generally, a couple times a week. It's fucking Ew. disgusting. Ew. I'm not joking. Normal. And if you live in like a city or you live in a, a normal place, which I have for most of my life. You don't see thousand leggers too much, but just the area we're in, there's a lot of insects around, even in the winter time. Yeah, Joe lives under half underground, actually. I'm not even joking. Yeah, it's kind of the, it's isn't it? It's pretty much is, yeah. Like your house is below. I like the... our general location, yeah. but I don't like the type of terrain that we live on. Right. Yeah, a little we marshy. To live on, yeah, if we were to live on a land, like a basic land type in Magic: The Gathering, I yeah. would say that we would be a uh, somewhere between a swamp and a forest. Yeah, that's that's a good. What is the swamp in the fo there's a there's a dual land. Which one is the swamp in the forest? Oh, it's called the Swarest. I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, let's get on with this stupid story. So, normally they take one hit to kill. Right. They're pretty easy to kill. They're insects. Mm -hmm. But I recently had a boss I recently had a battle with a very hardy thousand legger who had 3 hit points. <laughs> 3. <laughs> yeah. 3. You're joking. Yeah, I tried to kill him, so I put on my Yeezys, right? Uh-huh. So that I could step on him. I actually don't have Yeezys. I would love to have a pair of Yeezys of those. If anybody has a, a, a pair of size 12 Yeezys, <laughs> 
contact us on Game Soup. You know, you, if you have a, a what pair are of size twelves that you that you don't want for some reason, I don't know. Contact what, us, and what, I'll tell you where you can send them. To. Wait, what, what? What are we talking about? What's a Yeezy? Yeezy. It's a. Uh, they're shoes. Oh, we leveled up. The Kanye West shoes, you know. Oh, okay. That's why I don't know what they are. Check that out. Let's put points into something. But anyway, I put on my cheap sneakers and I put, uh, you know, I, I, what I usually do is to not mess up my shoes, I throw down a paper <laughs> towel and step on it real quick. It works oh, every yeah. time, like a chunk. Right, right. But this time, uh, it didn't die. I stepped on it and I picked up the paper towel and it crawled out. What? And, uh, you stepped on it with all your weight, your body weight. Well, I tried to. I guess I missed, or Jesus, or maybe I hit it and it didn't kill it. That's so terrifying. it started running alongside of the Ugh. alongside of the wall, and I tried Ugh. to step on it again, and then it started limping quickly. <laughs> <laughs> How do you limp quickly? I didn't, I didn't kill it. I, I went I went straight for it with the shoes. I didn't I didn't bother with the paper towel anymore. Right. And then it started running along an extension cord oh, in, intelligently so that I, it was going to be harder to crush. You right, know? I didn't right. want to get it over the extension cord. Yeah. You know, I went after it anyway and I got it the third nice. time. But yeah, it took three hits to kill this bastard. Three hits. That's a, that's incredible. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. I'm yeah, being cornered. Fuck here. a thousand legger. I need to, I need to get a, a BB gun. Because I don't want to uh, shoot a real gun at a thousand They're hard to shoot legger. though, man. BB guns are good for like birds and stuff. I have killed big. insects with airsoft guns before. It's hard. We talked about this on the show before. Yeah, you have to be a good shot, yeah. you know. Oh Jesus! You can get right up to them. Yeah, that's true. Shoot them with those little plastic pellets. They're no, ch they don't stand a chance against those plastic pellets. No, even a very small animal or a mammal, a very small mammal could could be killed by one of those. By a BB, maybe not an airsoft. Well, maybe though. not. Yeah. I don't know. How's this game? Is it cool? It's really awesome, actually. This would be great if I was going to spend the next eight hours in the car. Like I was going on a road trip or something and yeah. I somehow didn't have yep, to drive. There you go, equip. So this is it. This is, this is awesome, actually. So I was going to level up the one ring because that seems like a good idea, right? Yeah, yeah, just make it stronger. Yeah, yeah. That's, and in fact, that's actually what I did. Increase the power of Mordor. The one ring. Level two. Frodo becomes invisible for ten seconds. Corrupt. And that's, the specter. Sounds great. So it's like a, a benefit and a detriment. You become invisible, but... Yeah, this does, actually doesn't seem too bad for uh, for a GBA RPG. An isometric RPG on the GBA. Yeah. That's awesome, you know? How many of those were there? Uh, like, not that many, mm, I'm going to say? Yeah, uh, probably not that many. I know there a, was... This, a, this really is a Diablo clone. Yeah, there was at least one that I know of. It's this. I guess I didn't have to say that. <laughs> Diablo is awesome with the controller, too. Diablo 3? Yeah. played a lot of that on the... Not the Xbox, on the PS4. I, I still can't believe... I can't get over that. Because to me that has always been a oh, PC yeah, game. Oh yeah, BlizzCon. They revealed they revealed oh, the Diablo God. announcements recently. At yeah, BlizzCon. That, that's a whole can I of worms. That live. We should open that can of worms on the. Do you want to save it for the next step? Okay, yeah, next step. We'll talk about BlizzCon.